Right here then guys, welcome to another video. As you can tell from the title guys, I've um, I've finally bitten the bullet after talking about it for uh, for so long with my good friend Snaztastic and um, Nate Great 321 um, and I'm actually starting to um, build myself a MAME arcade cabinet. So guys, you can see there I brought a PC yesterday, so it's the, uh, the Sony Veo. It's a uh, Pentium 4 um, 2.6 gigahertz machine, uh, 512 meg memory, which uh, which I'll look to upgrade to a gig, um, an 80 gig hard drive, which I'm probably going to put a second one in uh, to take it up to uh, around 160 gig total, and it's also got an Nvidia uh, 128 meg graphics card. So I picked this one up yesterday, guys, from um, from an online website called Gumtree, which uh, for you guys in America is probably the equivalent to Craigslist. And uh, this PC, guys, uh, base unit only, cost me £55, which uh, I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, it did originally have a 64 meg graphics card in, but the guy upgraded it for me to a 128 meg graphics card for, uh, for £10. So it wasn't too bad. Fired it all up uh, last night, guys, just to test it. It's got Windows XP Home on, so that um, works a treat. Um, and I took the side off the case this morning, as you can see here, guys, just to have a bit of a, uh, a look-see inside, because um, as with, um, with rebuilds, it doesn't always detect the sound and uh, graphics drivers correctly. Um, and it's a right state inside, guys. I don't know if you can see... If you can see all of the dust, it is absolutely caked in dust. It's disgusting. Everywhere you see inside, absolutely full of dust. So obviously the guy didn't open the case up for me to see when I got there. But um, yeah, I've now got the vacuum cleaner out ready to give it a good, uh, a good hoover and a general tidy up. So I'm hoping in that caddy there, guys, there's space there for a um, for a second hard drive, which uh, hopefully, as it's only an 80 gig drive, should be nice and cheap to pick up. Um, there's also a wireless card at the bottom, which I need to find out which one that is and sort the drivers out. And the graphics card there as well. Again, I need to see. I think it's the NVIDIA GeForce 4200, uh, 128 meg. So that's that one there. And the uh, the sound card as well, so absolutely needs a, a right good dusting. Uh, so I'm going to crack on with that now, guys. And uh, hopefully, next part of this video, you'll uh, you'll see the machine all up and running and nice and clean. Rightio then, guys. That's uh, all tidied up now inside that uh, that base unit. I've made a note, taken out various components, given them all a clean. Uh, made a note of what they are so I can sort drivers or upgrade the parts. Um, the only thing really that I'm looking upgrading, guys, from what I can see is the hard drive. So it's a um, uh, Hitachi uh, Desk Star, I think it's called, 80 gig drive. So uh, it's an ATA stroke IDE drive. So uh, all being well, I'll put a 120 or 160 gig drive in there. So it should be nice and cheap to pick up. So without further ado, guys, let's uh, press the magic button and see if it loads up. Okay, at the moment, guys, I've just got a little... Uh, USB keyboard which I use for my home theatre PC so just brought that down here. it's got a built-in mouse so it's much easier for um, for copying stuff across briefly rather than a big big cumbersome keyboard but uh, as you can see there guys Windows XP home running like a treat and a couple of icons on there guys as well so you can see yesterday I put uh, my main application uh, which is hyperspin on there and I've also set up a folder to put the ROMs into when I find uh, find out where I uh, where I put them last time. So that's um, the screen that I'm using there, guys. Is a spare 18.5-inch um, widescreen Dell monitor. I will be looking to um, 
to replace that so this is just literally for for me getting it all up and running nice and easily down here in the games room so uh, i am on the lookout for a 21 inch crt monitor which uh, which i'll be using as uh, as the main screen in the main arcade cabinet but uh, until the cabinet's all um all built and configured then i'll just be using this uh, this screen here for testing purposes so there you go guys it all looks to be running a treat and so far the project's cost me just uh, just 55 pounds so there we go guys i'll uh, i'll get hyperspin now up and running and uh, put a bit of footage of uh, of that on the end of this right video then guys we're uh, finally up and running still got lots of configuration work to um to do um spent a few hours yesterday um, getting all of the correct drivers etc installed on the PC for the hardware side of things to um, to get up and running so sound drivers the wireless card etc took ages to find the right drivers but uh, but we got there in the end so sounds all now working on the PC so you can see the uh, speakers are in situ there guys so and next to that is the um, the control pad that I'm using so that's the box for it there and it is sat on my chair there plugged into the USB at the front um, I've not got it fully configured yet um, still got to mess around learning how to do the artwork and the videos under hyperspin uh, but I do have the the basic hyperspin front end set up now and as you can see there guys there's the uh, the old icon there so what I'll do guys is I'll show you Hyperspin loading up and show you a game running and uh, that'll be it for this video. So I'll, I will do another video uh, once I've got the, the front end bit configured, so the um, the artwork and the themes etc just to show you the, uh, the, the next update. So bear with me one second guys and we'll, uh, we'll load up Hyperspin. So a nice little uh, flash intro there and this is the um, the front end for hyperspin so it, uh, as you can see there there's no video previews at the moment but uh, basically on my keyboard I can cycle through all of the various games uh, still got to suss out how you press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up a certain you know a selection of games that begin with whatever letter it is so um as i say in the past guys i've used maximus arcade which was much easier to set up than this is but once i've learned this you know inside out um it'll give me a lot more flexibility than uh, the maximus arcade did so let's uh, let's load one of the games up now right give this a try So we'll try a bit of Contra 3. Right, and as you can see there, guys, it says type OK or move the joystick left, then right to continue. So we'll move over to, to our wireless pad, or not our wired pad even. So left, right. Right, some warning there. I've not actually tried this game, so that's Sod's Law, but we'll see if it loads up. a good sign and we'll just leave it for a second hopefully it'll just play through the introduction and you can uh, see how smooth it is 
so I've been doing a bit of uh, reading up on the MAME, etc., guys. Um, with all of my current MAME ROMs installed, I've still got a, probably half the space left on my 80 gig hard drive. So at the moment, it's looking as though I won't actually need to uh, upgrade the hard disk, which is uh, definitely a Brucey bonus. All right, let's see if we can do this one handed, guys. Right, so it's. There we go. So, one. Not uh, not easy at all to do this one-handed. So there you go. A to jump, and then that one there. So there we go guys, I won't uh, do any more because I'm useless playing uh, controllers one handed but as you can see it's all up and running, we can do escape to come out, left and right again, okay for some reason on this ROM escape isn't working to take us back to Maximus but uh, let's see if I can... No, I'll, I'll just leave that running. But yeah, I've got lots more work to do, guys. So um, watch this space for further main project updates. Um, lots of tweaking to do on the PC itself. Uh, I'm also going to invest in some slightly more powerful speakers than the, um, the set that I've got there. So they, they are Dell... Uh, 2.0 speakers, but you know what? Well, I'm, I'm going to invest in a, a set of decent, um, probably Logitech 2.1 speakers, you know, maybe with a subwoofer just to give it a bit more oomph when it goes into the arcade cabinet. Um, on the arcade cabinet front, as well, guys, um, I'm going to have a chat with one of my friends uh, that lives locally to see if, if, um, if they can help me with the cabinet itself. Um, alternatively, let me just turn this down a little bit. There we go. Alternatively, uh, if I don't have any joy there, I'll be speaking to uh, to my dad um, to see if he can give me a hand. He actually lives down in Wales, which is about a two or a three hour journey from where I am, but he does do um, carpentry as a profession. So uh, it might be something that he can help me out with as well. So we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. But uh, yeah, I hope you found that interesting, guys, and uh, stay tuned for further updates. So, as always, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll put up another video shortly. Bye for now.